What's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt. So happy to be here with you guys. As you can see on the screen, we have got Molt Southern Teaser. I've never made a Southern Teaser base before, um, but I want to try and get up into Masters League again for the loot bonus and <clears throat> so on and so forth. Maybe even push up higher. Who knows? Um, why don't you guys leave a like on the video if you want me to push up to uh, Masters or Champs, wherever it is. Just leave a like. Uh, let's see if we can get like, I don't know, 3,000 likes or something for me to get up to champs again. Um, and I think that this base will work really well at it. Um, I'm excited for this. We're going to go ahead and jump into this. I've got it pulled up over here on this screen. I made it on ClashOfClansBuilder.com. I make all of my base builds on there. Um, it's so easy to make base builds on that website. So if you guys are looking to design bases, go to ClashOfClansBuilder.com. All right. So let's go ahead. Obviously, we want to protect our town hall. Oh, no. None of, none of this stuff is in order. It's all in the order that I removed it from uh, the thing. So that's a little bit annoying. All right. So we'll go ahead and, I guess, throw in all of our mortars. So we've got one mortar right there. We've got one mortar right here. We've got one mortar right here. And then we've got one mortar uh, right here as well. All right. So we've got our mortars, all of our mortars covering the base, which is awesome all right next we're gonna go ahead and bring in our x bows i've got them set to ground right now because of the glitch that's going on also <clears throat> because um i don't know i just feel like ground is gonna work really really well um with this kind of base design let's go ahead and just find our town hall throw that in there because a lot of our stuff is based off of the placement of that we'll go ahead and bring in our inferno towers as well right now they are far enough spread out that um one freeze spell <clears throat> cannot uh, freeze both sides of it. So that is exactly where we want those to be. Let's go ahead and bring in that other uh, expo. We're going to put that centralized right here. And then we're also going to centralize our clan castle right here. You can see that it's in a perfect spot to where it won't get pulled uh, very easily. Somebody's going to have to uh, deploy a good amount of troops in order to take out my clan castle. So let's go ahead and continue on, guys. We're going to bring in these two air defenses right here. And then we're just going to work our way um, along the side here, we're going to bring in our Dark Elixir storage. We're going to bring in our King. And then we are going to bring in one of our gold storages. And then we're going to do the same thing right down here. Uh, why is that extra gap right there? That isn't supposed to be there. No, I did that on purpose. Never mind. Yes, it is. <laughs> so we're going to bring this down. Uh, put that extra gap here so that there's two walls right here. So if a wall breaker hits right here, it won't get into uh, that section. So that is why that is there. I forgot that I did that. <laughs> Let's go ahead and bring in our queen as well. And then we're going to bring in uh, another elixir storage right here. And then let's go ahead and bring in elixir storage right here and gold storage right here. And the same thing almost over here with an elixir storage and a dark elixir drill. Next, we're going to bring in archer tower right here, archer tower right here, and then archer tower right here and archer tower right here as well as cannon and cannon. And you guys can see this little gap that I made in these walls. That's so that um, somebody can't jump spell uh, straight into uh, into the middle or anything like that. So if they put a jump spell so that they can get over this wall, then they're not going to be able to get over this wall. If they put a jump spell to get over this wall, they're going to have to use all their wall breakers to get up in here. So that just makes it a little bit more difficult for uh, whoever is attacking. Let's go ahead and bring in uh, a gold mine right here and a uh, elixir storage <coughs> right there as well. We're going to put those in a little bit further. Let's go ahead and bring uh, our laboratory right here. And we're just going to throw out our spell factory up here towards the top of the base. Um, next, let's go ahead and bring in our uh, Teslas. Where are our Teslas at? Here they are. Where are the Teslas at? We're going to throw a Tesla right here. We're going to throw a Tesla right here. And we are also going to throw a Tesla right here and a Tesla right here. That first one did not go in. Next, we're going to bring in a whole bunch of bombs into this center area uh, because <clears throat> oftentimes when people attack southern teaser bases, they will in fact attack from the top of it. So we're going to throw in these uh, spring traps as well. Let's go ahead and bring in our other skeleton traps and um, we put the rest of our spring traps down here towards the middle. Uh, let's go ahead and bring in our wizard towers. Our wizard towers are going right here and right here, and they're going to make a wall of splash damage for us, guys, and absolutely annihilate 
anything that comes in. If you want to mess with this, you're going to get wrecked by the splash damage uh, for sure. Then we're going to take the rest of our spring traps. We're going to go uh, one right here, one right here, one right here, and one right here. I believe that's where I have them. Yes, indeed it is. Um, and then we've got a cannon right here and a cannon right there as well. Let's go ahead and just continue working down this area. We've got a air defense right here, but that's one of my higher level air defenses. So I'm actually going to put that uh, further towards the center so that it is protected a lot better. Oh, don't want to get rid of that wall. And then we are going to bring in our other air defense right there. <clears throat> And then let's just go ahead and build out this little section right here. We've got one archer tower and we've got a elixir storage and a gold storage. And then we have got a cannon and a cannon. And sadly enough, guys, there was a present right underneath. Get Stop it. <laughs> sadly enough, guys, there was a present right underneath this cannon and I had to remove it. It was very sad times. It made me cry and I was embarrassed so I didn't show you guys the recording. I'm kidding, obviously I didn't cry. <laughs> um, let's keep on working our way around. So right here, <clears throat> we wanna protect our air defense uh, with air defense. So we are gonna throw an archer tower in front of it as well as um, those bombs. So if anybody lightning spells that or anything like that, if they try and do super dragoon and they wanna get rid of that, then they are going to get wrecked by all of these air defenses. We've got the archer tower that can shoot air and we've got all those air defenses as well as the air defense and the wizard tower so everything in that general area is going to shoot any kind of air troop that wants to get up in here and wreak some havoc um, next we are going to throw in our other one right here and our other one right here and let's go ahead and put a little bomb and a little bomb and then we are going to put in uh, our last air defenses right here that one needs to be refilled sadly enough now let's go ahead and bring in these two bombs right here. We're going to throw in a giant bomb uh, right here. And where are our other giant bombs at? Our other giant bombs are right here where this transfers in. Uh, so the troops will, if they come over these walls, say it's golems, they'll go here, 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 here. So they won't go for the jump spell. If there's a jump spell right there, they're going to go here, then they're going to go here. Then they might go in, but it should be close enough that they head over there uh, towards that mortar. Um, let's go ahead and bring in our builder sets. We've got builder sets right in here um, just to add a building for wall breakers to go after if they do decide to attack it. Um, and then we've also got, do we have any more defenses? No, but we've got one, we've got two more bombs. Uh, let's see where we want to put those. Uh, I don't know. Let's go ahead and throw these other bombs uh, into this wall section right here for any kind of troops that come through there. In fact, we're going to take this one as well. Um, and put that in there and this one as well and throw that in also just so that anybody that does try and jump over these walls is going to take some damage and is going to get distracted by the skeleton trap. Um, I guess we'll go ahead and throw in our other uh, giant bombs. <clears throat> Where did we have those? I feel like I'm missing. Oh yeah. So the other two giant bombs are going to go right here by the town hall for anybody that gets there and their troops are already a little low on health. Well, they're going to get wrecked by the giant bombs and the inferno towers. Uh, we will go ahead and throw in one of these right here. One, uh, oh, one of them right here. Um, just so that people can't spawn in that little area. And then we'll go ahead and start building around the base. Where are my army camps? So army camp and army camp and then army camp and army camp. Again, guys, I've never made a southern teaser. Uh, this is a southern teaser. It's just a little different because I've got this section of walls here. Um, oftentimes, people will just build down the side and it'll just be open and ready for anybody to come in and uh, do some work. So this is my own little version of a southern teaser. Let's go ahead and do uh, barrack and storage or pump barrack. And then barrack, pump, barrack. Then we'll throw in an elixir storage right there and or an elixir drill right there and an elixir drill right there as well. Let's keep on moving our way around, guys. We are going to bring in the rest of these. We'll go ahead and throw that dark barracks. Uh, let's throw the dark barracks right here and the other dark barracks right here. I'm all about symmetry. It's kind of funny. I don't really know why. Uh, being a designer and whatnot, I like things to look good. So that's why I do that. 
So we're not going to be able to put this right here. We're going to have to throw that in there and then throw this in here. Um, and then let's go ahead and bring in our, whew, where do we want to put this other uh, flare? Let's throw this right in here. There we go. <laughs> and then we're going to do gold mine right in front of that archer tower and gold mine right in front of that archer tower. And let's just go ahead and throw a random builder set right here by this other one. And that is going to be it, guys. Save the village. And we are about to do some work with this thing. So we're going to set that as active. And uh, yeah, I know layout is already in use. So the layout's already in use. There it is. Uh, wait a second. That's not what we wanted. <laughs> this is what we want to set as active. Now it's in use. There we go. All right. So that's the base, guys. I'll be showing you all some replays and whatnot. Hopefully, just on defense, I'll be able to get back up into Crystal and move even further up. But thank you so much for watching, guys. I really, really do appreciate it. You guys rock. If you all want to use this, go ahead and use it. Tweet me pictures of it in use, so on and so forth. Let me know how it works for you guys. And as always, make sure you keep calm and you clash on for me. All right. I'll see you guys later. Peace.